over the story of Srebrenica. Srebrenica was a little girl who was born in a country far away. Her mom and dad named her Srebrenica because they'd heard of such a land, a city named that, that it had a hard time, but then come back into a peaceful state. So they thought that would be a nice name for their new baby. They were happy with their new baby. And Papa had made a wonderful purple blanket to be her baby dress. He wrapped her up in it. And they were so happy with their brand new baby. But just as they were feeling particularly happy, they heard a storm coming up. So they ran outside to bring in the laundry and collect other outdoor furniture to make it safe from the storm. Little Srebrenica was left on the floor to play. She looked out the window and saw the storm and wondered where her mommy and daddy had gone. Ooh, that looks scary, she thought to herself. She saw the storm roaring and roaring outside, making a huge noise with its blowing winds. What's going to happen, she thought. Will the storm come in the window? She was just a little girl. And she began to cower down, and the storm did break in the window, and the wind blew and blew curtains and blew parts of the house away until finally everything in the house blew away and little Shrebrenica was left all alone. She couldn't find her mommy and daddy and they couldn't find her. They'd been blown far away too. But then a wolf mother came along and when the wolf mother saw little Shrebrenica she thought it was one of her pups. So she picked up Shrebrenica by the beautiful purple blanket her papa had made her. And she carried Shrebrenica far away, far away in the land where there were mountains and fields. Mother Wolf thought she'd better take this new pup back to where other pups were. So she carefully carried Shrebrenica along until she was all the way back to her forest home which was a cave under a log. The wolf mother carefully carried Shrebrenica inside the cave. She was going to introduce her to the other pups. Here's your new sister, she told the other pups. And little Shrebrenica looked around and she saw all her new brothers and sisters. They felt very happy together and so they fell asleep while the wolf mother was out looking for prey. They all would need to eat soon. Shrebrenica and her new brothers and sisters slept away and then Mother Wolf brought back a rat she had caught and killed. She left the rat on the floor of the cave and went back out to look for other prey. Shrebrenica and her new puppy brothers and sisters slept and slept until Shrebrenica began to feel hungry all opened their eyes and Shrebrenica looked around and she saw the dead rat that the mother wolf had left. She sat up and reached for it, took a little bite. Mmm, this isn't bad. She tasted it and then she shared it with all her brothers and sisters and they all enjoyed a good meal. They were happy together in the wolf cave under the log. Months and years went by and the little pup wolves grew up to be full-sized wolves. And they met Patty Possum, who was another wild creature of the forest, and Charlie Crow, who liked to tell them everything he knew all day long. The wolf pups enjoyed their friends. Charlie Crow went out to hunt for a worm. And when he found one, he shared it with his friend Shrebrenica. She was so wild, she ate worms and spiders that she found in the forest. She was a very wild child, and she was stretching her dad's purple blanket to be a bigger and bigger dress as each year went by and she grew larger. The pups became proper wolves and went out hunting, but Shrebrenica never learned how to be a proper wolf. 
she just grabbed spiders from the trees and she grabbed worms from Charlie Crow who always liked to dig them up for her. She became almost a teen spiders but such strange wild food always gave her a bad hair day and her hair turned many different colors and she was embarrassed. Oh, what am I to do, she thought. I'm just not normal at all. This isn't the way hair is supposed to be. She dreamed of becoming a person again, like her mother and father. She had only the strangest rememberings of them. At night, she would dream about her real mother and father. But her wolf mother was very concerned because Shrebenitsa wasn't acting like the other wolf pups. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with this child, she thought. How will I ever teach her? She just won't follow me and do what I do. The wolf mother went talk to Shrebenitsa again, but Shrebenitsa was asleep and dreaming of a great dinosaur coming and teaching her how to be a human being. That was a strange dream. Who are you, asked Shrebenitsa. And the dinosaur said, I am your teacher. You do want to be a human again, don't you? Well, let me tell you how. You have to follow the paths in the forest out to where the houses of humans are. You must follow the path until you find a house. And then you must look inside and imitate the people inside because really you are one of them. You're not a wolf, and I know you're not a dinosaur. We're all extinct. I'm just a dream dinosaur.